I feel like oxalates are trending right now. I mean, when I went on Joe Rogan, I'm like, you're getting too much oxalate in your spinach and kale smoothies. Yes. And it turns out you get five times the dose that your body can eliminate in one spinach kale smoothie. I think a huge amount. So Dave Asprey provides precisely zero references here, which isn't that surprising since the oxalate section of his book, The Bulletproof Diet, also contains zero references. So I have no idea where the claim that spinach and kale smoothies provide five times the amount of oxalates you can eliminate even came from. And it's even more ridiculous when you consider that there was no mention of the size of smoothie or how much spinach or kale are even in there. Plus, it's worth mentioning that kale is actually very very low in oxalates despite Dave continuously claiming otherwise. Of course, ex-carnivore Paul Saladino just nods along without any criticism. Typical. But it gets even more ridiculous. And it's 20% of the beginning fatal dose. So the fatal dose of oxalates is 15 to 30 grams in a single dose. I'll be generous here and use the lower number of 15 grams. I'll also use the highest number for the oxalate content of spinach that I could find, which was 1,145 milligrams per 100 grams of spinach. 20% of the lethal dose of oxalates would be equivalent to about 9 cups of spinach consumed at one time. And to reiterate, this isn't anywhere near the fatal dose, it's just 20% of that. So he seems to think that people are stuffing 9 cups of raw spinach into their smoothies. And to actually reach the lethal dose, you'd have to consume nearly 45 cups of raw spinach at one time, and that's assuming that you even absorb all of the oxalates. Good luck with that. 